snow on the way for the ski resorts. Yeah. Much needed snow, but there's also some bad things that come along with it. Let's get right into it. It's going to be rough as we get in the next 24 to 48 hours. Now, upgraded from a winter storm watch to a winter storm warning in the area shaded in pink. Sandia, Manzano Mountains, Sangre de Cristo, Jemez, Southern San Juans, all of our bullseye areas for our major winter storm, which is brewing just to our west. And as we look to the west, we see it spinning off the coast of California, starting to enter Arizona. And boy, it's tapping into that moisture. And when it makes its way over the state, it's going to combine with some a cold front, which is really going to help set things in motion. So Monday morning, we can expect snow on the doorsteps of areas like Farmington and the western part of New Mexico. We'll see some snow in the northern part, mainly mountain areas for snow, because it's not going to be quite cool enough for snow. So valley rain showers are possible elsewhere, mainly in western, northwestern, northern and northeastern New Mexico, but eventually when that powerful cold front comes barreling through out of the northeast, almost simultaneously as this storm is leaving, it's going to drop our snow levels all the way down to Roswell, possibly even Hobbs and Carlsbad. I mean, this is going to be some very, very cool air and the moisture is in place to help us fire off snow showers. So this is what we're expecting. The heaviest snow in the northern mountains, a foot or more is possible. East slopes will be favored. Areas like Las Vegas, Raton, Mora, our East Mountains communities could pick up a decent amount of snow Monday night into Tuesday. In other locations, the Valley, Santa Fe, Upper and Lower Rio Grande Valley, still some good snow possible. Two to six inches. We'll have to see how things shake out in the next 24 hours. But then one thing we will all feel is some serious, serious cold weather behind this thing. And it could be deadly when we get into uh, double-digit zero and wind chill temperatures. Frostbite and other health illnesses can take hold. So let's look at our super storm track. 7 a.m. We see some snow activity on the northwestern side of the state. We get the clock rolling. We still see a little rain to the southwest. It's still pretty warm there, and we're seeing some activity starting to spread in the afternoon hours. Even during drive time can be a little tricky, but you see that blob. That is the front, the cold air making its way in, and watch this thing as it holds together and pulls right across the state. So that's going to be our main driving force, and that's why the east slopes are favored. So these will be our bullseye points as far as heavy snow snowfall and then when you add in blowing snow it's going to be pretty rough driving so monday night into tuesday especially tuesday morning that commute's going to be brutal for a lot of folks with those cold temperatures slick roads blowing snow i mean just uh, the worst possible situation taking a look at temperatures right now not too bad starting to see that cold air nudge into the northeast right now 30 in clayton but still a little bit warm to the northwest where we don't have that cold air in place yet eventually it will overtake the entire region let's do the numbers you'll see clearly what i'm talking about very very cold on the way. Cold, uh, cloudy snow showers for the northwest tomorrow, 41 in Farmington, 22 in Durango. Expect temperatures to fall by Wednesday. Durango will struggle to get in uh, out of the teens. We're talking a high of only 13 and very, very cold in Farmington, too. Southwest New Mexico, a mix of snow and rain. Snow at the higher elevations. Eventually, this will all change over to snow by the time we get into Monday night and into Tuesday. Seven-day forecast in Silver City shows uh, pretty decent temperatures, but they do come crashing down by the time we get to Wednesday. You guys are on the far southwestern edge of the cold, so you won't feel the impact as much as, say, places like Roswell. We'll take a look at your seven-day forecast in Roswell. It's pretty amazing that cold air making its way. You go from a high of 66 tomorrow for only tw to only 27 on Tuesday and then single-digit lows. This is the coldest air we have seen all season, and uh, we'll see if we break any records. It's going to be very, very chilly when we see how fast these temperatures drop. 43 in Las Vegas, seven-day forecast in Las Vegas shows temperatures dropping like a rock too. A high of only 10 on Tuesday and only a high of 7 on Wednesday. That's some serious cold frostbite. Doesn't take long in sub-zero temperatures to get frostbite going, so we need to keep that in mind. 36 in Angel Fire, 44 in Angel, uh, Santa Fe. Seven-day forecast shows snow starting tomorrow in Santa Fe and well into Wednesday. Ice cold air on the way too for Santa Fe. Temperatures will only be in the teens on Wednesday. East Mountains, another bullseye area for us. East slope of a mountain that's going to get that cold front pushing moisture right up it, condensing it and wringing it out. And especially when you have such cold air in place, you don't need a lot of moisture. We're good tomorrow as we start the day in the metro. It's probably could see some rain getting into the afternoon hours, and that'll quickly switch over to snow by the time we get to Tuesday. So Tuesday mornings, that's going to be the worst uh, part of this thing. It's going it to be horrible all week long, though. Yeah, it's going to be a bad week. Okay, thank you again. Sports is